Alright, so here we are, like it says, March 20th. I'm checking quick checks on the hives on this day to see if there's any swarm cells that are being built, any queen cells along the bottoms of the frames to make sure they weren't going to swarm. It was extremely windy this day, so that's why I'm having to do the voiceover because the, the wind was really catching the microphone. All in all, this hive looked really strong, but I did not find any, any signs at that time that they were thinking about swarming. Sometimes I like to use the frame grabbers. If there's a lot of bees, my hands are really big and klutzy, and sometimes it's easier. But the bad thing about those is that it is really easy to lose your grip with them and almost drop a frame. And I've had my heart in my throat more than five or six times, almost dropping one, holding on to it with these. But I do keep going back to them just because it's it's easy to get the frame without squishing bees. And I really have a hard time when I'm trying to see the eggs. And I think I've got pretty good eyes. Once I see them, I see them. But it, it takes me a long time to focus in on them. They're so, so tiny. Looks like there's a little bit of burr comb on the bottom of that one that I missed. I'm taking these two frames out because if I remember right this was a deep box and I ran out of deep frames and had to put a couple of medium frames in there and I got some new uh, deep frames so I'm clearing out those two mediums and putting some deeps in their places While I stumble to the garage to get those, we can just enjoy the bees for a second.
Now it's time to scoot all the frames back over again. I thought it'd be better to put the empty ones on the outsides rather than put both of them down on one end. And these bees were not real happy with me this day. Like I said, it was really windy and they don't care for that too much. And they were starting to get tired of me taking forever. And the smoke wasn't having really any effect because the wind was blowing it away faster than, or I mean before it could land on anything. So coming up here is uh, part of a short snippet video that I released earlier where the bee tags me in the back of the head. Now look at that brood. I mean, that is wall to wall. That is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at the cap brood wall to wall. Now here comes the back of the head shot. Zap. There she goes. Pulled the stinger out and took it with her. I never even felt it. Never even knew anything. Thank you, Ultra Breeze. Don't think that one would have felt good in the back of my bald noggin. And now we're over in the other hive. I don't think I got a chance to look at that one big tall white one there with the lid still on it that day. I think it was just these two outer ones. Now right here I'm pointing out a drone that I saw. Just thought you would be able to spot him there next to that red queen cup thing real easy and just see the size compared to all the females around him. He's, he's much larger. Some burr comb here I got to get rid of. They had built this up over the winter. Doesn't look like she has quite the full brood pattern that the other queen had on that other hive though. Try and clear out a spot for the frame grabber so I don't smoosh any bees. That outside frame there was filled with honey. You saw how fast it dropped when my finger left loose of it.
Look at all the honey on that frame. The back side not quite as filled. A little bit more honey on this one. You can see front and back. That's a nice one. It's a real nice one there. Got some burr comb on the bottom there. We've got larvae in it. I'm going to have to scrape it off. If you don't get that off, it, it starts sticking to the frames in the box below. And then when you're trying to lift boxes off, it's trying to take the box with it. And it, it becomes a real headache. So you really need to keep that burr comb under control, I found. I don't know if this is the hive that swarmed or not, but I know this super that I just added about a week and a half ago is already completely drawn out. And it's filled with honey on some of the other frames, but as you can see, brood on this one. You can see the babies. that haven't been capped yet. Crazy stuff. I can't believe that they drew 10 frames from nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing. No foundation. I don't think. You know what, I'll take that back. Maybe I checkerboarded them, or not checkerboard, that's not the right terminology. This one is filled with eggs. No, nope. nectar. Turn it into honey. Oh gosh, lots of honey. I gotta get another box on these girls. I need to check one more box down though. See if they swarmed. But I don't think they did. There's 8 million bees in this book. Let's get this one back in there. Even the, on the very ends. I mean, they've drawn it all out. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Crazy. Which makes me think my original estimates of how many boxes I was going to need is way off. Lots of drones. Lots of drones. You spot all the drones? They're pretty far back. Bam, 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 bam. This fence is going to be the death of me, but it keeps the dogs out. <laughs> Lots of larvae. 
Lots and lots and lots. And queen cells galore. I don't see anything in that queen cell. Trying to see what's queen cells and what's. Yeah, there's nothing in there. And those are just drone cells. Alright, let's look at the next one. It's definitely a queen cell. Don't see anything in it. Hopefully they just built them for posterity. Lots of drones. Loads of drones. That time of year. Now that is a tiny little bee. Wow, she's like a runt. They let us off work early today. It's Friday. So that's given me an opportunity that I wasn't going to have. So look at these real quick, even though it's a little later in the day than I prefer. It's still better than not looking at all. All right, I found the queen, which is amazing considering there's eight jillion bees in there. Hoping you can see her. It's so bright out here, it's hard for me to see what's on the camera. But I found a queen cell too, so I need to add a box and make sure she doesn't swarm. At least do everything I can to try to prevent it. So anyway, all right, all's good. Queen, this hive has so many bees and a nice viable queen. It just... I'm convinced that they are not the swarmers. Get them all down in there so I can put these bars together without squishing none of them. Because right now they just all want to be in the way. There is a lot of honey in this box though. Too bad it's all intermingled with brood and everything else. Make it hard to get. But this frame down here is very heavy. And it's an outside frame and it's very, very heavy. That's all I could do to get it up out of there. And when I let go of it, it's gonna go kerplunk and I don't want it to. That's the outside frame on that one. So they're not quite as far along as the other hive, but still not too shabby. So many bees. So you can see the nuke buzzing around that I just made. They're quite adamant about it. Now this is also what can happen when you don't have foundation. This is the craziest, wonkiest looking piece of comb I have seen thus far. It's sideways, it's backwards, it's upside down, it's twisted. There's stuff growing in every direction. They must have been drunk as hell when they carved that on. Jiminy.
But I guess I'll leave it. Not much choice in the matter. I'm gonna tear it all up. It's been so much hard time to build it. All right, it is a really windy day. Just wanted to show you. Got a new hive built. This one will be the red hive. That's the swarm I took out of that bush in the video, two videos back. And then the swarm I took out of the other bush where my son helped me is in that white box right there. Just gonna figure out what's going on with them before I either give them to someone or mix them in with mine. I just wanna know, because they were real sluggish, so we'll see. But anyway, now we got a red one. I need to paint the top and bottom of one of those green, I think. It's not exactly easy since they're packed, so that'll probably be a winter activity when it's back down to two boxes and I do a switch out, paint it, and put it back in there. That way I'll have all different colors and I can reference them easier. All right, just a quickie. Josh, Plano, Texas.